What's up, gentlemen? Welcome to Man Talk, where we create strong, proud, and kind men. And today, we're going to go in to find out why men aren't too happy in this day and age and what we can do as men to fix it. Let's get into it. All right, so first thing that is making men exceptionally unhappy in this day and age is, bro, there's no male mentors. There's no real male empowerment in today's society. It's so, it's absent, it's non-existent. If you look at any man that has ever been even thought of as anywhere close to a male mentor, they're always labeled as far right, they're always labeled as homophobic or sexist or whatever of these nasty, these nasty, nasty slanderous names that you want to label on someone. That's very destructive, that's very unhelpful. And so what can we do about this? We need mentors. Men need mentors. Everyone needs mentors. Mentors are incredibly important. They guide us, they show us the way. So what what, what can we do about this? Well, we have to take the responsibility into our own hands, right? We have to do this ourselves because society is not going to put them on a pedestal for us to find. Right? So we have to go and search for these mentors ourselves. It's going to teach us responsibility. It's going to teach us to be, uh, it's going to teach us to empower ourselves. It's going to teach us that our life is in our own hands. And things like, when things like achievement, when things like adventure, <laughs> adventure, risk taking are, are, are viewed as some sort of masculine ideology as opposed to just something that men inherently feel like they want to do. They want to feel like they take risks. They want to feel like they're going on adventures. They want to be powerful. They want to be strong. They don't want to be females they don't want to be feminine what do we do when things are viewed as viewed as dangerous and we feel these in our heart we feel like we want to take risks we feel like we want to go on adventures we feel like we want to be strong we feel like we want to be men what do we do when we feel this inside but society's not giving us outlets to teach us how to use this we have to find those things on our own we have to do what men have always done and we have to be strong and we have to go forward and we have to find mentors we have to find men who are going to teach us how to handle these emotions that are going to teach us how to handle these aspects of ourselves that we don't know we don't understand so the first step for us as men to be more happy in today's society is to take the responsibility and to find male mentors ourselves and next up another reason why men are not too happy in this day and age is you guys aren't taking care of yourself. It's more than just your appearance. You gotta, you gotta clean up what's inside. You gotta clean up the inner game. One huge way to do this is to just stop being resentful. Uh, this is a huge thing with guys, is they're just resentful, they're angry, they're not positive. One of the reasons they're not positive is because they're so busy resenting, like blaming everyone for everything. Oh, fuck, I hate this. Oh, this sucks ass. Like you have to change your perspective on a lot of things if you're gonna wanna be happy, if you're gonna wanna be successful. How to stop being so resentful is to, you have to nip things in the bud as they come, right? You can't just leave things unsaid. You can't leave things untouched. You can't leave things just as they are if they're bothering you. Guys, they go into the same freaking job they hate every day and it's like, bruh, like you gonna be, you're gonna be resentful if you're gonna go into that job and you're gonna hate it all the time, every day. You're not gonna be happy. And so it comes to a point where you have to either change the situation or you have to accept the situation that you're in, bro. You hate your job, but you need it. You need to pay your bills. You're just starting from the ground up and you're at McDonald's flipping freaking burgers. Like, bruh, well, yeah, I get it, man. That's gotta be tough. That's gotta, that's gotta be real tough, man. It's gotta be a bit demasculinizing. It's gotta be a bit dehumanizing, right? But, but, what are you gonna do about it? If it's what you gotta do, then you gotta accept it. You gotta make the best out of a bad situation. I've been there, man. I've been there. If you wanna be happy, it's more than just cleaning up your appearance. Very important though, very important. Clean up your damn appearance and start dressing well as well. You gotta stop being resentful. You gotta stop being so angry. You gotta stop being so hateful, right? The world's a beautiful place, man. The world is a fantastic, beautiful place. You just gotta change your perception. You gotta change the way you look at things. You gotta change the way you act. You gotta change the way that you carry yourself in life. Change, man, it's, it's important. Stop being resentful. Clean yourself up. All right, gentlemen. And lastly, the thing that men need to do to start being happy in this day and age is pursue something bigger than themselves. Now, so what do you do when you come home from work? You're probably exhausted, you're probably tired, right? We all, we're all a little bit exhausted, a little bit tired. You sit down, you watch sports, or you play video games or something. That is fantastic. I'm here to tell you right now, that is fantastic, that's awesome. But, like, what does that do for your future? Here's the thing, if we don't have something bigger than ourselves, something to help us pursue in our free time, 
it's gonna leave us very empty. It's gonna leave us very depressed. It's gonna leave us very astray. It, we ha will have no direction, we'll have no purpose, we'll have no energy. Instead of just sitting on the couch and doing nothing and making yourself feel worse, making yourself feel so shit, do, do something important. Do something that's going to make you feel so much better that you can say like, man, I put some work into that. Just, just a little bit, just start with a little bit. And dude, that little bit, that little bit is gonna take you so far. It's gonna make you feel so much better. Put a little bit of work into something important. Put a little bit of work into something bigger than yourself. It doesn't need to be like something epic. So when you get home and you have the urge to just play video games or look at porn, think about what can I do instead to invest in myself? So instead of sitting down and playing video games, go learn a language, go learn the guitar, go learn something that is important to you that you've always wanted to do. I guarantee you this is gonna make you feel so much better, man, than going and watching pornography. The gents, like I said in the first point, man, it's up to us, bro. It's up to us to take the responsibility to improve ourselves because society is not gonna do it for us. Society has always seen us men as dispensable, expendable. We've just always been there to protect and help society and be expendable in the process. So we have to take the responsibility to improve ourselves to rely on ourselves and to make sure that we are the strongest proudest and kindest men that we can be because no one is going to do that for us that's it for this week's video gentlemen let me know down below what you do to keep you from falling into those depression holes what you do to keep yourself happy in this day and age as a man. If you enjoyed this type of content, go down below and sauce me a fat one of these bad boys. Smash that subscribe button for your man and stay tuned for more fantastic content just like this. Gentlemen, have a fantastic rest of your week and even better week ahead coming up and always stay strong, stay proud, stay kind and of course, absolutely, stay handsome.